This video will cover the topic, Solving a Quadratic Inequality Written in Factor Form. For this video, we have the quadratic inequality x minus 4 times x plus 1 is greater than 0, written in factored form. Our goal for this problem is to solve the inequality by graphing the solution on a number line. If this expression was written as x minus 4 times x plus 1 equals 0, then we would see that the solution is x equals 4 and x equals negative 1. So this isn't like solving a normal inequality? Not exactly, because uh, with this inequality we can see we can separate each factor as, as in a normal equality. But we cannot simply solve each inequality and write x is greater than 4 and x is greater than negative 1 for our solution. We need to draw a number line and mark where each individual solution is positive, 0, and negative, like in the following. So x with x minus 4 is greater than 0, we see that at x equals 4, x minus 4 is 0. At x is less than 4, x minus 4 is negative. At x is greater than 4, x minus 4 is positive. And then we also have x plus 1 is greater than 0. At x equals negative 1, x plus 1 is 0. At x is less than negative 1, x plus 1 is negative. And at x is greater than negative 1, x plus 1 is positive. So we can draw a number line. And we can show this analysis. We have negative 1 here and 4 here. We have our sign for x minus 4 and our sign for x plus 1. We'll start with x minus 4. So we know that x minus 4 is negative at x is less than 4. So everything before positive 4, x minus 4 is negative. And then x minus 4 is 0 at x equals 4. And after 4, or greater than 4, x minus 4 is positive. For x plus 1, x plus 1 is 0 at x equals negative 1. And it is negative at x is less than negative 1. So everything before negative 1, we have x plus 1 is negative. And everything after negative 1, so you can see greater than negative 1, x plus 1 is positive. Why exactly did we write out the signs of each factor on the number line? We did this because we want to find all values of x for which the product x minus 4 times x plus 1 is greater than 0, or positive. So we can analyze the signs for each factor and see whether the product is positive. Whether the product is negative, there is no solution. So we can separate each part here between negative 1, between negative infinity, negative 1, 4, and positive infinity. After doing this analysis, we can see that all values of x less than negative 1 make a positive product because the product of two negatives makes a positive. Then all values of x greater than 4 also make a positive product because the sign is positive for both when we multiply them. However, there is no solution between x equals negative 1 and positive 4 because we multiply a negative by a positive, we get a negative product. Which does not make the original inequality true. There's also no solution at x equals negative 1 and positive 4 because the function is equal to 0 at those points, but it should be greater than 0. So our final solution is x is less than negative 1 and x is greater than 4. How do I actually graph my answer on a number line? To start, we will draw a number line. And we have our solution 
x is less than negative 1 and x is greater than 4. So we'll start with x is less than negative 1 and we'll shade in on the number line all solutions, all values of x that are less than negative 1. And to do that we just make it like a draw an arrow. And then the same thing for x is greater than 4. We have all values of x that are greater than 4. And we should shade in on our number line here. Just draw an arrow to show that it's going on forever. And at negative 1 and 4, do we include that or do we just draw an open circle to show that's not really the solution? Well, since the original problem just said is greater than and not greater than or equal to, we should just put an open hole, right? Exactly. So at 4, yeah, it's not, if it was greater than or equal to 4, then there would be a closed hole. But because it's only greater than, we simply draw an open circle. And same with x is less than negative 1. If it was less than or equal to negative 1, then we'd show a closed circle. But it's only less than, just put an open circle. So when solving a quadratic inequality written in factored form, we must perform a sign analysis to determine where the products of the two factored solutions make the inequality true. Then we graph our solution on a number line. Good job.